so this is explanation for some people that this is for the 30 20 to 30 percent of people that didn't take the abomination that still might have a chance to make it into heaven uh you know that haven't corrupted their genetics through disobeying the word of god and rejecting the knowledge and understanding of wisdom that was ministered to them over the last three and a half four years right okay uh there's something called the second death that the Bible refers to in Revelation 12, okay? And it says that the second death, okay, there's a book of life. Those, those that have the genetics of God that were sealed with the Holy ghost, right. Or were born of the spirit in their lifetime. Right. And didn't lose their seal as even Ezra two from the Apocrypha mentions, right. That Zion has lost a seal of her glory, which is why you can lose your salvation. And once saved, always saved is not, is not true because you can corrupt yourself as the song of Moses says, okay, they have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children, but there's something called a second death. So I'm explaining this to any of you guys who might be here, who are not understanding exactly the time we're at, or we are not understanding what the second death is. Okay. The second death is, uh, it's a spiritual death, okay? But what's the first death is what you, we really have to ask. Well, you can die in your physical body like we all do. Everybody in this incar in this earth age has died physically. So that's the first death. But you can also die while you're still alive. And there's people that are walking around. Jesus called the the uh, called them whitewashed tombs full of men full of uh, dead men's bones. He called the religious leaders of his time. And it's the same thing then uh, it's going on now. Okay, the honorable of the earth, right? The ancient and honorable. He is the head of the beast and the prophet that teaches lies. He is the tail. So a lot of the religious leaders even, they're spiritually dead. Okay, as, that, as, as the Lord told Adam and Eve, okay, if you eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, uh, if you partake of that knowledge, you shall surely die. Okay, and you know, they seen that it was good for wisdom, desirable to make one wise, pleasing to the eye, right? Which when you start studying and if you just read into philosophy or different things like, you know, occultism or esoteric doctrines, it is pleasing to read. You realize it's stimulating, right? And you can get into it to the point where it changes your genetics basically on a uh, mystical level, okay? And so cutting Jesus out of the, out of the, you have to basically, that's cutting God, okay, out of the picture when you do that, okay, when you can cut God out of the picture, and that's what a lot of people here on earth have done, okay, if they didn't simply just have their roots cut, okay, which, you know, these, all these videos, lyrics kind of explains more like the lyrics I just played here, uh, so you can die spiritually, okay, you can physically die, or spiritually die, your physical, the mechanism of your, your brain gets corrupted, right? And you go down to desolation, right? Okay. Caught in the riptide, she says, right? We all love what makes us suffer. The ocean has taken another life. So here we have uh, a whole bunch of people on the earth that are already spiritually dead. And that's why they hate Jesus Christ, because... They sinned and they didn't have the word of God. Now, here's the thing is that with God, all things are possible. And he says that he would breathe upon the slain in Ezekiel 37. So, you know, I'm not even entirely sure that reprobates are not going to be able to re repent. They're re Technically, being a reprobate means you're twice dead or you, your roots were cut. You corrupted yourself. You're a reprobate. 
spirits get control of your your brain. I know because I went through this. So I'm not mad at people that went through this and failed because I know I realize the majority of humanity or probably a third or more almost passed, failed the test. Okay. God says with, with God, all things are possible. And he looked for a man to stand in the gap. Okay. But at the great white throne judgment, everybody that's not written in the book of life has to go through what's called the second death. Okay. So if you were to die and you didn't repent before you died, you would also face this second death. You would be thrown in the lake of fire. But some people here on earth, it's the leadership. It's people that partook of the tree of knowledge of good and uh, evil. They cut God out of the picture. Okay. They essentially have already died either from partaking of that tree, that poisonous tree. Okay. It was good for wisdom, desirable to make one wise. But because you get wisdom without righteousness and temperance, okay, it causes you to break laws and to rob the public and population to negatively hurt your fellow man. And for that, there is a judgment upon the leaders of the earth, right? And and then they're going to say that Jesus Christ is an is we're idol worshipers if we believe in Jesus, right? Because we live by his grace and we're not wicked and we're not going along with your schemes. God is righteous to annihilate all you sinners that deny who Jesus Christ is. He came here in the in the in the um, in the flesh according to the law and the prophets. You want to call me an idolater? Enjoy hell, all you people. And that's what's about to happen. The Antichrist kingdom is gonna hunt for people that still try to make it into heaven. That's why you want to repent now, you guys. A lot of these people are dead in the ocean. They're dead at sea. They're already dead. They have their roots cut or they climbed up another way. Spiritually, they've been our adversary, the enemy, right? When you climb up, you become a slander and a thorn in, our, in the, the rest of the inhabitants' side because everything is just a game. Imagine having the freedom. You gain the world, but you lose your soul, right? And that's what we're dealing with, a bunch of bastard children, okay? Ezekiel 31 kind of covers it more. Okay, all that drink water, they are all delivered unto death. And the strangers, the terrible of the nations, have cut him off and have left him. Okay. And then none of the trees by the waters exalt themselves for their height, neither shoot up their top among the thick boughs, neither their trees stand up in their height. All that drink water, for they are all delivered unto death to the nether parts of the earth in the midst of the children of the men. But then they go down to the pit, right? The uncircumcised, those that actually didn't get delivered from their demons, they served them, right? They circumvented the climb, okay, through the word of God. There is one creator his, of heaven and earth, okay? And, yep, it's a narrow path. And guess what? I had to struggle this last 12, 13, 14 years, right? Because of wicked children trying to stop me from swimming upstream, and now it's time for judgment liars, right? And then they're going to try to establish this Antichrist kingdom. Well, no, these people are all about to be exterminated for what they did, right? You know, all these lyrics here are very revealing, and it doesn't take a genius to figure it out. And if you hadn't been paying attention, I'm wondering, like, to pull your head out of your butt, basically, at this point, you just didn't care. You didn't even seek for the truth, right? And God's righteous to judge that, too, you know? This, this, this trick here. This harlot, this Jezebelic whore, Lady Antebellum, was talking about just just wanting in. Why won't we let her in right into our hearts? You know, you hypocrites that forced your will upon us deserve the fire and the wrath of God. Now you twice dead, plucked up by the root, roots, reprobates. Is God going to help these people? Oh, He's probably just going to judge them. The extortioners are at their end, and the spoilers cease, and the oppressors are consumed out of the land. Right, God's da daughter says here, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on the deep end and I'm on fire. I'm underwater and I'm on fire. Okay, okay, breaking Benjamin, he becomes the dark of you, right? Because once you corrupt yourself, then you become part of Satan's hive, and then you got shadows around you, right? You become people's shadow. Okay, she's seven lines talking about being worlds apart. Yeah, she was also had her roots cut or climbed up another way. Here's Sarah McLaughlin's talking about having, uh, you know, stealing our breath of life. That's not a, it's a love song or, you know, like lovers. That's talking about taking the breath of life. If you pay attention, it's all spiritual, right? And uh, they're mad now. Their kingdom's over. It's exposed, 
right? And then you want to continually rob me, right? It's all in here. We're listening to all these lyrics, you guys. I think everybody's probably just ignorant at this point. But anyways, there's a second death. Spiritually, if you didn't lose control of your brain faculty, right? And you'll know if you did. You will you would know if you did. There'd be no doubt about it. Some people already have had spirits with them since their birth, right? Since they came into this world. So they were never born again. Okay. Just read the word of God, read through my deliverance study guide. It'll push them out. And then you'll feel like a brand new person. My sister said it happened to her when I prayed for her, uh, from a thousand miles away back in 2018. She said, it's incredible. I can't believe it. I feel like a child again. I feel the stars in the sky, uh, in the sky, like a child again, I'm crying. She said, right. But three, four months pass and her heart hardened and the spirits came back in and she denied that it even happened right you know so uh there is a second death okay you can die physically in this body without having repented and turned to jesus christ and been born again regenerated in your spirit and you will also go to hell that's the second death and that all the people that are out in the sea right now like daughtry says okay in the deep end uh Okay, uh, unless God does some type of miracle at the end. Okay, these people are all going to hell. The majority of the world is going to hell. Okay, and you guys robbed me. And I do take it personal. God says, forgive your enemies. Well, you better pay me back now, you lying children that think that I should have to work for your filthy dollars, right? And then stay out on a street while I'm cold, right? And I don't want to be part of your corrupt system. A bunch of dead children mad at me, right? You shall be hated by all men on account of my name, Jesus said. Why? Oh, because I still have a soul because I'm still alive, right? And they're envious, right? And they're dead. They don't have no life in them, right? So I got a whole bunch of cursing families around me mad. Pray for them. Should we pray for them? I don't know. What's God going to do? Is he going to, can he breathe life back into these people? Do they even deserve it? Not if you destroy people's souls, you deserve to burn in hell, liars. So get out of our reality realm existence for good. Every one of you cursing families that has come around about me daily, depart from our presence for good in Jesus' name. I declare and decree, you will depart from our presence. No longer will you abide in our midst. All right. So don't, don't die a second death, you guys. Repent if you still have a chance. I know there's 20 to 30% of the population here in the USA and at the world at large, okay, that still has a chance to make it to heaven. Okay. Don't fear them, okay, that are going to try to intimidate you. Repent. Pray to Jesus when things collapse, okay? And don't let any man tell you what to do or try to force you to conform to their system. God is going to help, and but it's going to be a test. So you guys realize a lot of these people are already dead, okay? The children of this world are wiser in their generation than the children of God's kingdom, the ch children of light, okay? Because they don't, we don't read the Word of God. A lot of the children of God don't read the Word of God enough to have enough wisdom to understand the things that I'm even telling you. There's a remnant. Some of them do, but a lot of them, it takes time. I had to be crushed, okay? And the studies that I've provided will give you the understanding. It'll give you enough wisdom to get by, I believe. Just the studies, like I've always mentioned, on 2 through 3 and then 4 through 6 of my uh, Destroying Babylon file. So, yeah, these people are dead, and God's going to judge them now. So, hopefully, if you hear this and you're the 20 to 30%, you hear my voice and realize you still have a chance if you hadn't lost control, you know? So God bless you guys.